And if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we are asking if you would consider Kim Jong Un's <laughs> offer of recolonizing us. And our answer um, is, hmm? what's your answer? Would you consider? Uh, it's like turn between the devil and the blue sea right okay. now. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be colonized because with that, that means that my rights and my freedom is been taken, taken away. away. All right, so we are ask, we're also asking that if, we are, if our answer is no, hmm, what should we be doing? Or what can we do to move our country to a first-class country? That's the question. So our phone lines are open right now. And please let also hear what you have to say. You can join the conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 So, Isi, you have a comment with you. Okay. Mm. Um, it, it, the comment is actually a question, and this person didn't really put his or her name. It says, the question we need to ask ourselves is, why Nigeria of all countries in the world, a country well, well endowed with human capital and material resources, but no development? Now, this is a key role. This is a, a huge role. It plays a huge role in what we are doing today. Yes, we are complaining that there is no development, but to an extent there is development because based on where we are coming from, a lot has changed. No, let's call a spade a spade. You can't do but, that. But you see, you just rubbed me wrongly. You know what I said? You can't but, do that. Mm -mm, look. You can't do that, Isi. If but, you do that, that is also the this is what I'm saying mm -mm. that is the mediocre kind there, of acceptance that we are accepting. There is development. No. But you should it consider could have been better. <laughs> It could have been you spoiled better. it when you said compared mm. to where we are coming from. The <laughs> question is, the resources that we have available mm. to us, mm. right? Mm. And we seen the um, direct implication on the kinds of inf infrastructure we should be having in a country. That's the question. It's not where we are coming from. Because okay. if we do that, it means we're accepting mediocrity. What we already have. I agree with you. But the key thing is also, we should, look at all, we should always take a look back at our history before we look forward. I won't accept that. Lami, mm -hmm. let me hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the most part, I didn't hear your conversation. Go so ahead, Lami. Run it again. Okay, I was the question I, is... This is saying that if we, if we, if we consider where we are coming from, right, mm. we would know that uh, for where we are, there's some level of development. And I'm mm -hmm. saying no. You should consider the resources you have available at your disposal. Is the development commensurate with the resources you have at your disposal? Mm. That should be the question. Because this thing she said right now is the same thing that we are accepting mediocrity in this country. And say, ah, tango, ah, compare for where they come, this is even a better... This is what no, we I'm do all the time. I'm not saying it like that. Ah, okay. I'm saying it based on... We, we are talking about development right from 1960, where we are coming from. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking at. Not a situation whereby what we have currently going. What we have currently it's going me. is... Look, you people should not eat, eat me, me here. I what I'm saying, all. what I'm simply saying is, look, what, whether we like it or not, there has been some level of development. Okay, no problem. I That's accept what I'm it. Saying. Let me take I, Lami. I, I strongly disagree with you. Uh -huh. Fight. Let's go. I'm of the opinion that we are even uh, regressing. Because I remember when my parents used to talk about the quality of education they received. Uh -huh. And what yes. the quality Wait, of education we have now. I remember when we were younger, the quality of the roads were better. Ah, the mm -hmm. security was better. Mm -hmm. Food was more available, was more affordable. Healthcare system. Don't forget the population has increased astronomically. Mm -hmm. And the infrastructure we have does is not commensurate with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what progress Thank no you. Progress. There's no progress. Hold on, Lami. One second. Let me take Back a call. Did you have Let me just take a call. Phones? Can you take a call, please? Um, <laughs> thank you for calling, Rosalind from Kaduna. Let's hear what you have to say. Please, uh, your your other your other lady there said your other lady said that uh, where we are coming from, if we compare is that we are in a better place. Mm. I believe what she has just said is very wrong. Because no road, if you see traveling these days, is so difficult. The killing has increased in Nigeria, and we don't really know where we are. And we live every day by day, because nobody knows to what will happen tomorrow. So that statement she just made, I think she just encouraging what is not happening in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you, Rosalie, for your call. Thank you. <laughs> you see, I remember when we were young, we mm -hmm. did a day trip. From Lagos 
road trip rather mm. to just Yankari Game Reserve. Where was that? I can't remember where was that. Mm. Um, Uwa, can you remember where Yankari Game Reserve? Joss, yes, it's in Joss. It's in Joss. That was what we went to. Can you take your children on a road about trip? You now? To the north? I don't know. Uh, go ahead. No, you see, this Can is the point. See, now, now listen, um, Lamy, what you mm. just said. Growing up, right, we are our family road trip. I we mean, did travel it. from everywhere. So, what I'm saying that the <laughs> way you spoiled the conversation, you shouldn't. And and this is the thing we keep saying, right? Mm -hmm. Nigeria, we will not progress until mm. we are brutally honest with, with ourselves. ourselves, and we tell ourselves mm -hmm. the truth. We are below standard for where we are supposed mm -hmm. to be. We are nowhere near the we standard. Are, we can be. Who are, there can never be a solution. Look, there can be a Who are, solution. Who are, that, that, I'm sorry I'm sounding like a pessimist, mm -hmm. but I do not see a solution in sight. Because we are lumped up together with different ideologies and orientation. Religion is a big issue. So yeah, how do game reserve is in Bauchi. Yeah, so go ahead, sorry. Do you think one leader is just going to spring up from somewhere and have the magic wand? It I happened in that. Ghana. It happened in Ghana. Go back to regionalization. So, <laughs> For me, let every region develop at their own pace. Hmm? We are not a nation. We are a country. Yoruba nation. People that speak the same language. Igbo hmm. nation. Hmm. The Hausa nation. We are not a nation. People, don't forget that all these first, uh, the, the first world countries, Mm. They, they speak one nation. language. They speak one totally. language. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Our problem is we don't speak one language. And in mm. most cases, they have major... Uh, the, even though their religion might not be the same, mm -hmm. but most of the time, the religion is always in the majority. Okay, let me take a call. Okay. Sorry, I'll come to you, Isi. Okay. Sorry, it does not look like we're attacking you today. No, it's okay. I'll be I, from I, 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 like I said, I'm playing the devil's advocate today. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Let us hear what you have to say, Abdullahi. <laughs> Good morning. Good, good, morning. good evening. Good evening. Thank you for calling. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead, please. Yes, I seriously disagree with what this sister is saying now. I can remember when I was I can remember when I was in university. Abdullah, stop listening to yourself. Just keep talking. There is one of my lecturers that said when they were when they were when they were in when during their own period in their own university they get free education they eat free food in the school they do everything at appropriate time i discover everything is going very well just tell me compared to what i'm even facing in this what we are facing in this state right now this is the truth years or 50 years of the government on on a, on governance in a now there are supposed to go projects you cannot point out and say this is the single project they have done for good five years tell me where that development is coming from thank you thank you so much for your call where that development mm. is coming from. Mm. thank you so much Abdullah. i think we got the message thank um you. The efficiency of running country was much better during the colonial masters Era. So you were going to say something, or you've lost no. the thought? <laughs> no, 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 no. Go like ahead. I said, I said that, um, like I said today, that I was going to play the devil's advocate. So everybody should have a voice. Mm. Basically, you people are saying your part. I am representing the other part. Okay, so okay. that is where we are coming from. But the key thing is this: that in Nigeria today, development is a, is um, is is. No, in Nigeria, in, Nigeria today, <laughs> in Nigeria today, development has grown to an oh, extent. God. But let me take a call again. Hold final, fi you see, finally, you are putting yourself in more trouble. Usuka, I think somebody is calling from Unsuka. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling. Let's hear what you have to say, please. Emmanuel from Unsuka. Yeah, good evening. Thank you for good calling. Evening. Let's hear what you have to say. Yeah. I'm very interested for what they are discussing this evening. Mm. So ahead. what I want to say is, what I want to say is, there is no development in now comparing before. Okay. So what I want to shift in from what my my people have said is that when you look at the quality of our naira now, and you check the quality of our naira then, you can agree with me 
that even dollars cannot be compared with See, our money. Even man don't bring money matter mm -hmm. size. <laughs> now, now look at look at look at the rate that our money is. So the, there is no development now. We don't have any development. Mm -hmm. These people that are leading us are not leading us in any way. Exactly. So how I wish that our fathers we come back and rule us again so that our economy so emmanuel would you agree with emmanuel would you so agree I, with would you agree with king john emmanuel that one that minute please he can't hear me i was going to ask emmanuel do you agree with king john un saying that we need to be recolonized no that 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 person that is talking about being recolonized how about their place mm. their place is not to boast about true they are not even in the world. Hmm. So that thank you, one thank one you one Emmanuel, one. for your call. Thank you so much for your call. <laughs> Let me come to Lami. Oh, Don't let me finish. talk again. Let me finish. <laughs> because you will put yourself in more trouble. Yeah. Lami, come, come, come and bail, bail my sister out. Hmm. Look, look, look. Nigeria is Nigeria. Nigeria would do better. So what we do you always think? have room for better improvement? Definitely. Lami, I want mm. to ask you, do, what do you think we, sh we should be able to do right now? Because we're mm. running out of, you know, options, right? Mm. If we are saying recolonization is not an option, mm. can we, can, what can we do to move forward as a country? Because we are retrogressing. Let's go back to regional government. Let's go back to regional government. Look hmm. at the United Kingdom. It's made up of four countries. Northern Ireland, Wales, Scot um, Scotland, and Britain. I'm sorry, and um, England. They all have their parliaments. They all have their system of education. They all have everything, and they are coexisting as one country. Mm -hmm. But they are still divisible. You cannot call an Englishman a, a, a Scottish man. Exactly. You cannot call a Scottish man a Welshman. They will tell you they all have their identity mm -hmm. because they don't speak the same language. So why would they come and lump us together? We don't speak the same language. Our orientation is different. Huh. I think every region should go back. We should go back to regional, regional leadership. We should all develop at our own pace okay let me sorry today we have a lot of calls we didn't know this topic is hot i'm um, from river state i believe thank you so much for calling let's hear what you have to say can you turn down the volume of your television set please so when you call in try to turn down the volume okay. of your tv set thank you hey, 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 yes hey, go hey, ahead please. okay i think i'm uh, sorry i think uh, uh good evening Good evening. Thank you. Let's hear what you have to say, okay, please. I think uh, the young lady on the glasses, uh, I think, I, I just I just want to ask if she's really Nigerian. If she's <laughs> yes. from Nigeria, I, I think at this point in time, she should look at the picture. I only have one question for her. The question is, uh, if you got married to a politician's husband in Nigeria, and you, you have a village where your mm. husband comes from, Will you be able to get to that village and go out by 7.30 to the local market to get something for yourself without the security? Thank you. Mm. That's a very valid question. If Thank you no, so much. Why, would, why can't you do that? Mm -hmm. Because of lack of security. Then, uh, that, that, is one, that is one aspect of it. Second aspect of it is that, you know, when a group of people start lying to themselves, I think at this point, we should really lie to ourselves. We are more, we are multi ethnicity country. Mm -hmm. Like what this lady says, we are not a nation. We are not a nation. We shouldn't lie to ourselves. We are only lie to ourselves just because of one material that everybody is the crowd around. Yes. I wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. How long will you keep taking from that thought? Thank you so much, Iman. Mm -hmm. Effort. Long? Thank you so much, effort for your call. We have, an, uh, we, we have a lot of calls, actually. Wow. You see, because this topic is so sensitive, and I love mm -hmm. what um, Lamy has said. I like mm -hmm. the fact that you are playing the devil's, devil's advocate. advocate. It's good. Absolutely. I like what Lamy has said. Mm -hmm. You see, if we are honest with ourselves, even if we don't need recolonization, mm -hmm. we need a, a structural change in the existing structure because and that this is structure why, is not holding us anymore. That is anymore. why currently a lot of um, parties or a lot of individuals are calling for restructuring Definitely. of Nigeria. Definitely. Definitely. Um, Lami, but, um, Uwa, can I say something? Go ahead, please. I think another thing I, I, I would say is the federal government is too powerful for nothing. Yes. Everything is centralized. How can a man in Abuja know what is happening to somebody in a village in the Barapa? How can exactly. you feel the pain? I think 
think all those things that all those uh, uh, exclusive lists concurrent with another, they should strip it. Okay, probably copyright some issues. Okay, maybe mining and all that. All those mm. little, little things should be retained. But I think, okay, look at education. What is the federal government that what's this business with education? Mm. Education should be at the state and local level. What is education? What is that? What's their business with education? Okay. I think the federal government is not working, and we should go to confederal system of government. Absolutely. Where the center is weak and the states are more powerful. They are stronger, yes. We and have anonymous from, from River State. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Quickly, in one minute, let's hear what you have to say. Hello. Go ahead, please. Hello. Go ahead. Um, we can hear you. Oh yeah, please. I am an animal that I am seventeen. Sorry, we can't hear you. The line is muffled. Go ahead. Let's try. I'm seventy-eight years old. Oh, you are seventy-eight years old. Okay, sir. Go ahead, please. Yes. I witnessed this. I witnessed Nigerian government, independent, who up and cook. Now. Oh, we are losing you. We're so sorry. We have to put that. Today, present today, yeah. I would like us to think back for Nigeria to be better, to go to North Korea hmm. and ask to sign an agreement with them for only one year. We have to sign an agreement with them for only one year. Hmm. And they should go back. Okay, I think he's agreeing. He's agreeing with, you know, if they sign a, an agreement. But nobody will want to invest so much and just give it just one and year. And give it back to you yeah. even. Nobody will want to do that. Yes. You know, so, it's, so I don't know. <laughs> we might continue the, the part two on Thursday because we've, um, we've run out of time. of time. Okay. So it says we need men and women of vision and action, not mm. social media only. Exactly. It says I am inspired by Aisha Yus Yusufu. That's mm. what um, this person is saying. It didn't mm. put their name as well. Um, let us get final thoughts. Let me mm. start with you first. Isi. Okay. Mm. Choose your words carefully because... No, I'm not <laughs> going to play the devil's advocate in this case. So let me come with, to you first. You mm -hmm. know, What do you think, right? Mm. I agree with Lamy that we need a regional government system. So what do you think should be the ingredient that we should be looking out for leaders going mm. forward? Hmm. The ingredients we should, look at, we should look out for in our leaders are very simple. Credibility, integrity, and when they tell you yes... Their yes is yes. And accountability. Accountability plays a huge role mm. in molding a nation. Mm. A situation whereby there is no accountability, mm -hmm. there, there is no way you can move forward because that is when corruption starts to eat into the system. Absolutely. Let me come to you, Lami. You talked about rule of law, right? You talked about rule of law and you talked about institutions, weaken mm. the central weaken the uh, federal government and strengthen the, the, the state and the local government. Mm -hmm. How do you think that can play out? Oh, did we lose Lamy again? Looks like it. I think we lost Lamy again. You know, I was hoping we, I can get, because she is a lawyer. Yes. So to get a perspective, how can we put up that structure, mm -hmm. right? Do we need to go and start knocking on the National Assembly window till they answer us? You know, mm. those are the kind of questions we should be asking. So I suppose just saying 2023 is coming mm. and let's just go and put our thumbprint. If you put in your thumbprint, you see, let me tell you something. What mm. has been happening prior to when I did not have brain? I just, I just got brain, <laughs> you know. When you like a particular candidate of a party, maybe representing the federal or the state government, like the governor and mm -hmm. the president, there's every likelihood you vote that you just turn print up and go down all the way down down exactly without checking for the candidate that is going to represent your interest exactly at the federal level and at the state assembly level exactly so i think we need to enlighten ourselves again we need to go back and teach ourselves what we should be looking out for in terms of leadership and if i would ask myself that mm -hmm. question because we really ran out of time okay i would say visionary leadership what is the plan hmm. you that you say you want to come for presidency hmm. what is your vision for nigeria 
And if you have a vision, like, can we see that blueprint of how you want to take us from point A to point B? We lack men of vision. Another question is, even if the, the government or the man has vision, what about integrity? It, so listen, this, that issue of integrity... They should go side by side. Let me explain to you. That issue of integrity, let me tell you something. That was mm -hmm. why I wanted Lamy to answer that question. Mm -hmm. If we strengthen the structure, if we strengthen the system, right? Every other thing will fall in place. Exactly. Donald Trump might not have had the integrity and all of those things, but because but the, the institution, institution was stronger. stronger so that him. is how do we now move from that weak institution where it is one person determining what happens to the rest of the people to the system determining what happens you know, to the people. Implementation so that's, that's what we should, of our we should constitution. Look out for. But I think probably this, I mean, I didn't expect the overwhelming calls mm. and all of that. For We are sorry we couldn't take more calls. It's because I played the devil's advocate. And all of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. It's actually a topic that is very, very thought-provoking. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a thought-provoking um, um, topic. topic. Truly, Nigeria can become a first-class country in one year. It just takes the willpower and a visionary leader. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the truth. Thank you so much again, Isi. Thank you, Lami. We're sorry we lost you. Um, Ways was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, influence lives towards action. And this year, we're starting our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. If you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. If you're a job seeker, keep watching Ways and follow us on all our social media handles. This will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell your friends to keep all eyes on Ways. Now, in case you missed today's quote again, this is very, very powerful. Our pride, right? Your pride for your country should not come after your country becomes great. Your country becomes great because... Your pride is in it, right? That is the quote. I mean, people take pride in their country. Just like and they say, you know what? Whatever is in other countries, my country must beat it. That exactly. is the kind of leaders we want. You people travel outside the country. You see great things. Can you come and replicate those things in Nigeria? It's a simple thing. We'll see you live tomorrow as we bring you another great conversation. Enjoy.